Hello and a very warm welcome back to the garden, but we're in a different garden. We're in Jack Monroe's garden, which is super exciting. So if you don't know who Jack Monroe is, please tell us a bit. Oh, right. So I, um, I write cookery books. So I'm like a writer, author, campaigner. And, um, and yeah, that's me. That's what I do. And I write stuff on the internet and yeah, that's it. I eat, cook and write about it. Eat, cook and write. <laughs> oh, if only I had that life. <laughs> um, so obviously, being a cook, it means vegetable scraps. And I know you're all for reducing waste and things yeah, like that absolutely. and saving money. And one of the best things you can do is build a compost bin. I'm so excited about so, this, I can't yes. even begin to tell you. So by, by the end of today, you're gonna have a compost bin and we'll start filling it as well. Great. Um, so in about a year's time, you'll have amazing compost. This is so started. exciting. This is genuinely, I'm absolutely yes. thrilled by uh, this. But the thing is, it's so easy. <laughs> Great. This is part of the Grow Food for Free series to celebrate my new book. Um, and we're actually going to be making the compost bin uh, that you find in this book. And if you're wanting to start out growing food, the best thing to start with is a compost bin because it's going to save you so much money in the future. This is so great. So the first step when creating a compost bin is, is finding a place. So what do you do with this corner? Uh, well, um, as you can see, um, not very much at all, actually. Uh, this is a kind of wilderness at the back of the yeah. garden. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just crying out for a use, isn't it? Yeah, and <laughs> the, the thing to bear in mind is there was a really nice corner over there as well that we looked at first, but it's in the sun and you could grow something amazing. And you've also got a chair there. Yeah. So enjoy the sun. For a compost bin, the best place is a little corner that's really shady. We've got a big tree up above us. So this is absolutely ideal. And it's just away from the house. The other benefit of putting a compost bin here is that it's slightly up on the slope. So the garden is sloping down. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be really useful because compost is heavy, but you're gonna use gravity to help move the material down when it's ready. Oh, great. So this is literally an ideal corner. My piece of it, neglected wilderness is actually useful for it something. Is, yeah, it's one of oh, the best uh, compost corners I've seen. Oh, so, uh, stop it, you flatter me. <laughs> so the next thing we've got to do is to start building it. And this is to be as simple as possible. And this is all just using reclaimed wood. Okay. So the first thing is, pallet boards like these. Um, you can get pallets for free from many places. I got three from my local tennis club. Uh, they had a delivery in. The first thing is using pallets and you split them up, cut them to size. And then the other thing you need are four posts. And the great thing about this design is I don't want to be digging down into the, you know, th there might be cables underneath or something. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you're in an urban area or if you're renting or anything like that, you don't want to cause too much damage. So these just sit on top, it's super simple. It also means it's very easy to manoeuvre. And all I've done is actually move this compost from my house to here for your compost bin, just to show how simple it is to move about. So the whole idea behind this compost bin design is just to make it as easy as possible. And as you're saying, when you're setting up, it's like a, like a flat pack. Yeah. <laughs> it is. So we're going to get started. Okay. Um, you just need a bit of flat ground. Okay. Like we've got here, put a stone in underneath. Um, and what's the stone for? The stone is just to try and level this okay. because it's a slight little dip. Okay. It won't screw in properly. Right. So find yourself a handy stone and... Oh, it's the only handy stone around, so, <laughs> so that's yeah, great. Deliberately. <laughs> All you need to do, because these holes are, are pre-drilled, now if you are just starting, use a pilot hole. Um, I'm using screws that I found in the shed lying about, old screws, easy as, as that. You can use nails as well, but it's less, less easy to take apart. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're just doing it as a permanent, nails work fine. So if you want to... Go ahead and, and screw that into the top. Okay, I'm gonna. Just, um, I've never used a drill before here. Oh, well, <laughs> um, yes. I, I am a screwdriver and brute strength human well, being. That's great. Um, Today we're gonna cheat. Um, <laughs> and also the great thing as well is if you don't have um, uh, a drill like this, yeah. you can use a screwdriver. It works absolutely fine. Or you can set up a tool share, um, which is also in the book, where you, with a load of neighbours, write down all the equipment you have. Put it in one place and if you need to borrow something you can borrow it that's a fantastic idea like a library yeah. but for like practical stuff yeah so is there anything useful you'd be willing to 
let people... Yeah, I've got a strimmer. A strimmer? <laughs> yeah, uh, not one of the strimmers, the grand yeah, one, yeah. the hedge trimmer type, oh, like brilliant. the big thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I went through a phase. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> no, so you can just see how easy it is to set up something like that. So Ooh. to get started, put it in the hole. This is, this is genuinely more exciting than I thought it was going to be now. I mean, we've levelled up. We really have. Um, <laughs> right, so, yep. And I'll just let that go there. Yep. So are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, right-handed with Great. manual stuff. Right-handed. So go for it. <laughs> test it, test it first. Oh, okay, okay, yep, cool. So you then want to come straight over the top. Yep. And I'll hold it in place. Let it... Let it go in. And then press. <laughs> press down as you do it. Oh man, that is efficient. I know. Oh no, my dad is going to be sad because my dad comes around and drills things yeah. for me and he always deliberately never taught me how to use a drill because ah. he was like, you know, he likes dadding about and yeah. now he can never see this. <laughs> That's great. And, and the other thing is, it'll take you hours to... <laughs> and because you're writing as well, you don't want a sore wrist after no, this. Is, this is this is everything I thought it would be and more. <laughs> so, um, so then the next thing you do is you just do the exact same on the other side here so i'll just do this to save you jumping over <laughs> and also the, the the excitement of the entire thing <laughs> the excitement is coming up again <laughs> just um before you make it just make sure that all of the planks fit otherwise it it won't quite match up so the easiest way to make sure that if you're if you're into perfection a bit like i am which <laughs> can can have a downside <laughs> is if i want the spacings to be accurate um, what I do is I'll then attach the one at the bottom um, and then use the planks and then I'm free to move them about to make sure that the spacing's right. I thought you were going to say you measured it and marked it out no, with a pencil then. I, I haven't got time very, for that. I'm very, very no. <laughs> impressed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you want to... Yes, please. Go for it. I'm going to try not to stab myself in the holly bush with my absolute glee. Got it. Got it. And I'll, <laughs> I'll do this one. <laughs> Yeah, go on. I know, then. it's it's oddly satisfying. It's just so... And also, do you know what? It, just screwing stuff in by hand is just... I know. It's like martyrdom, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> it's just too much. <laughs> so, um, now, because we're going to try and level it out, I'll give you, I think, three for okay. this. And if you kind of place them roughly equal apart. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that there are gaps in this compost bin, but that's absolutely fine. It's quite good to have some airflow. And it also means that you, you need less wood, so you don't have to find loads of pallets. A pallet or two would give you enough, more than enough of these planks to get started. And these posts were just from a leftover from a bit of building work. Cool. So you can now go for three in a row. Oh, you spoil me. And I, tell you what, I might just let you get on with the whole bin. <laughs> So the reason why it's making a bit of a da -da 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 sound yeah. is because these are old nails. They've already been used again. So they don't go in quite so flush, but you can still get extra use out of them, yeah. which is great. Because so great. many people will try and go and, and buy new things, but it's always nice to breathe, breathe life into second hand. So have you got like a massive collection of nails and screws and yeah. and all sorts of like stuff. It would probably make quite a bit if I took it to a scrap dealer to be <laughs> honest. But. This is this is what we call a panel. Okay. We completed the first first panel. Great. We now just repeat the exact same process for the second. Okay. So I'll pop this over here. Yeah I went to pick it up and then realised I didn't know what I was doing so no, I just, it just let needs you, to go there for now. I just stroked it a bit and just carried on. <laughs> we could have done that here's one we've done earlier. <laughs> Now you're really getting into the realms of TV. <laughs> so we've got the two panels ready. Um, the next thing is to lift, lift this one up. Okay. So if you grab I'm that. Gonna, yeah, I can hold this. Then with, with this panel, make sure that it's not facing inwards. You want this to face outwards just because it'll open up a lot more space. And so your posts go on the inside four corners exactly. basically. Right, even I can like... So I'm going to hide in, in, in here now. <laughs> So you roughly have a quick look just to see the spacings and then I'll pop that down. And then this, this first one is very easy. 
what we've got to do, so we're not having to hold it, oh, okay. is, is to secure it first. Okay. So by adding at least a plank on both sides, it means that it won't be as wobbly and it won't fall over if you let go right now. Okay. Yes, like that. So this might, um, there we go. like, did you have, have you had any sort of like carpentry or woodwork training or anything like no. that? Or is this literally so simple that like, I mean, I, I'm managing to do it, but under your yeah. very expert guidance, no. is this, is the genuinely idiot proof, yeah? Absolutely. I mean, Excellent. hopefully watching this video, you'll get some ideas and I'm <laughs> that I am an idiot and that no, I am managing to do no, it. No, that's fine. I'm totally cool I, with I that. I did say you're not an idiot. <laughs> uh, the, the idea is that as long as you're willing to carefully have a go with a saw yep. and, and then drill some holes and yep. drill in some screws, that's all you need. Okay. The, the trickiest part is just, I think, measuring it up mm -hmm. to make sure it works. But once, once you've built one, uh, you can build many. Uh, cool. You, you, next time you come back, I'll be like, welcome to my compost garden. <laughs> yeah. If you... <laughs> this is going to be a bit trickier than the other one. Oh no. <laughs> so I'll, I'll come in and I'll, I'll hold it in place. Okay. And you just worry about screwing. Great. And so do you come as standard when people want to build a compost bin? Do you just sort of pop up and give them a hand or...? Uh, <laughs> nah, not really. <laughs> I should do. So yeah, if you grab that and I'll hold it in place. There we go. Got it. Cool. And then we're just going to do the exact same here. And obviously, so we can let go of that if you want. Yeah. If you need a bit of space, because it's light, yeah. we can just shift it over a little bit. Okay. I'll tell you what, over that thing there. Okay. Great. There we go. So, as you can see, it's all sorted. Yeah. As in, it can stand up by itself, and that's the important okay. thing. Yeah, it's important. So, next thing now is we're going to basically, it's like the, creating the panels, but looking at it from this direction instead of on the floor. So if you want to come round and, and the easy thing about this is you can use where you put those as guidance. Yeah, okay. So it all matches up nicely. Oh, that's not, that is very pleasing. Yeah, that I know. Is, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on this. Uh, sorry about my filthy jeans, by the way. It's um, a hazard of being... It's a gardening channel. <laughs> I know. No, no, I no one's going to care. I'm just, I'm just very used to doing like cooking stuff and yeah. people are like, it, it, oh, you look like a grubby person. I'm like, I am a grubby person. What can I say? It isn't this morning. <laughs> Brilliant. So when it does that, slow down. Okay. And sorry. Then, no, it's just... Um, and then go back in again. There we go. And then push down hard. Oh, like that. There, there you go. go. Put so a bit when you, of drive yeah, behind it. Absolutely. Literal elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see how satisfying it is to put together. Fantastic. And it doesn't take too much time either. Great. It's a brilliant stress release, just sort of shoving holes in things, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you could spend the whole whole days making compost bins. <laughs> I can see why people do. Yeah. So if you grab another plank, yep. anyone. So we don't get spiked. By like my inconvenient holly bush. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's, it has structure. <laughs> and uh, obviously you're not intending to walk into it. So the good thing about this bin is that it's fairly light. Okay. So we can just pop it up like this. Mm -hmm. And now we can get a plank. Oh yeah. And uh, we can work on top of this it just makes it a lot easier now because it's nice and getting nice and sturdy okay so i will pass you a plank and then you choose two screws oh so now i'm being you yeah great i shall find you two of the finest screws oh, by the way i have to say i'm very very impressed with the tin this is Thank you. this is very this is very like true to my core values get a copy here. of tin can cook <laughs> there you go or, there we tell go. You what, if you want to screw them in, go for it. It's your compost bin at the end of the no, day. No, no, I'll let, I'll let you. All I'll right. let you. I feel like I've been having all the fun. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And the th thing is, as well about this is that it really doesn't take much effort to do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think, 
ooh, compost bins because they think of those plastic Daleks, which yeah. are really ugly. Yeah, they are But really at least ugly. this looks okay, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's going to blend in with this wilderness thing I've got and, going on here. And the thing as well is that over time, this wood will colour and, yeah. and become a bit darker. Mm -hmm. Great. And because it's wood, I mean, it's fairly weatherproof, right? It's yeah, this should last you about four or five years. Okay. You know, if something breaks, replace it. Yeah. You, you don't have to replace the whole bin. But yeah, four or five years. And then what I do with the wood afterwards is just leave it in a pile, maybe behind there, and it'll be great for some wildlife. Oh, yeah. nice. You know, make oh, a bit lovely. of a habitat pile. Yeah, cool. For like little bugs and creepy crawlies yeah, exactly. and things. Fab. Give them a home as well. Yeah. There we go. There we go, there's one. And I feel like this is already like infused with good vibes because it was your compost bin. So it yes. kind of, it's got good juju. It, it, knows, it, it knows its purpose. Yes. So oh, it, well. And that's not good, that's been blowing it out I'm of the way. It's just not going to work, is it? I've just got to not let go otherwise. Um... <laughs> now, I did make this compost bin by myself, but mm -hmm. as you can see, it's a bit tricky. And if you can get someone else doing it with you, yeah. it's going to be a lot easier. So let's put the last plank on. Great. You go for it. Oh, now I'm back in the tickly tree. <laughs> this is nice, a bit wild, this. Cool. You happy with it there? I'm, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm literally right. delighted with it. Good. <laughs> so just, just a quick tip is, um, if you've just got one screw or enough for one screw each for the time being, yeah. that's fine. But if you ever want to add a little bit more strength, you can just add an extra screw to the top one and yeah. to the bottom ones. Okay. You know, but uh, this is by far going to do the job. It's um, fantastic. I think we need to do a bit of cooking and we can start filling it up. Yes. So, it's all ready. I, I, I'm just so thrilled. As, as we were walking out to the garden, I was like, look at my bin. Yeah, it, I think it really fits the corner as well. Yeah. Um, so we've got a crisp in it. Yep. With the veg scraps from the soup that we just made. Yep. So if you'd like to do the honours. Ah, oh, just... Chuck it all in, Chuck yeah? In. There we go! Easy. I literally cannot express to you how genuinely joyful this has been. It's a whole experience and and it's genuinely going to be life-changing for me. Really? Like, well, I've got so much, basically. It's, it deals with all the newspaper, all the paperwork that comes of being a, a mad writer and all of the bunny poo. Exactly. And it's all just going to go there, along with the veg scraps. Yeah, this is exactly. like a well, life-changing device and we made it with our hands. And yeah, you, you're known for all of the cooking, so yeah. this is great. And it's, it's the easiest way to recycle as well, because yeah. you're recycling something. And the great thing about this is I know you're growing some herbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. You put some herb scraps in here yeah. and you can, you can put the compost around the herbs. It's that nice. cycle and it brings it all together. So thank you. Thank you so much, Hugh. It's been a real pleasure and I am, I, I am so delighted. You know me, I'm just going to be running out here every day being like, have I got compost yet? Yes. Have I got compost yet? <laughs> it teaches you a great deal of patience. Yeah, I uh, suspect this may well be the case, yeah. but it's not going to stop me checking. <laughs> and um, yeah, can't wait to see it filled up. Brilliant, there'll be about a week in my house, I reckon. Okay. Maybe two. <laughs> I'll have to come back and build another one. I would be delighted to have you. That's great. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions down below regarding composting or building compost bins. And of course, my book, Grow Food for Free, is available. The link will be down below in the description. And yeah, hope you enjoyed and thank you.